Today, we are going to talk about I was not familiar with your game moments of basketball. Who would have known this 5'8 kid with goggles had a 45 inch vertical? So we get it started off with Hair Jordan himself. People see his hair when he steps on the court, but just like Lawrence De La Cruz, he has an over 40 inch vertical. The guy who attempted this layup clearly underestimated Ethan. Somehow, Kaiser got called for a foul, and he could not believe it. And when he missed the first of two, he said, ball don't lie. Where did I hit him, sir? Ethan Kaiser isn't the only one known for their nicknames. Robbie Avila took over this year at Indiana State. He earned nicknames like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Larry Blurred, College Jokic, Milk Chamberlain, just to name a few. But Robbie Buckets has always been a constant. And then you got Teddy Collins. This kid is a certified big guard. When you see him, you don't expect him to be splashing jumpers in your face like this. Pause, no ditty. But Teddy Collins has amazing handles and range. This kid is special. His people back home in Minnesota call him Mr. Sports Center because he's been on there so much. People don't take the bleach haired serious, but Beckett Williams out of California is one of the best eighth graders in the country. He put on a show at MSHTV camp and people did not expect him to go to work like this. He already needed extra attention because he got some buckets, then he's dishing it off to the open teammate. But Beckett wasn't the first bleach haired kid we saw get buckets. He said, how many points you got though? I can't hear you, how many points you got? This kid, unfortunately and respectfully, is always gonna be known as Slim Shady. It was on me, I didn't get his name, but this kid is an absolute star. I might have to switch his name to Bleach Haired Bandit. I feel like that goes a little bit smoother. And everyone knows how much the girls game has continued to grow. And A. Schroeder is one of the best fifth graders in the country. And yes, I don't do rankings, but have you ever seen a fifth grade girl dominate the boys like this? Her jumper is automatic, and we know where she gets it from. In eighth grade, Caitlin Clark was unheard of. Nobody knew who she was, but this mom. Check out this audio. And that day, they became familiar with her game. Colton Clevenger is the perfect example of don't let the goggles fool you. Colton is one of the best players in the 2029 class, and he's grown quite the fan base. Watch after he knocks down this shot. There's gonna be some kids filming him. A couple years before we discover Colton, we film Wilhelm Breedenbach. He's another case of don't let the goggles fool you. This kid went D1, and he was a four star in the 2021 class. He played alongside Jalen Green on the EYBL circuit. And then you had Andrew Meadow, Bronny's right hand man. Meadow was throwing down 360s with ease. There will be a million filmers filming Bronny, rightfully so. But Andrew Meadow was the man on that team. He was a constant staple Bronny could always depend on. Be on the lookout for him at Boise State his sophomore year. I think he's gonna get a bigger role. Bald head Demetrius Terry really embraced the villain role. He embraces the bald head as well. So that might distract you. But Michi is quick to pick your pockets. So you gotta always be on the lookout for him. He really is that guy. So back to Lawrence De La Cruz from the beginning. This kid has a 45 inch vertical. At only five foot eight, he's one of the best athletes Canada has seen in a while. He had the whole gym shocked during this dunk competition. And the next guy on this video does the same. Hansel has shut down more gyms than anybody in the last five years. People underestimated him because he only had one arm, but they learned that day. Imagine getting dunked on and pointed at at a shoe circuit event. The victim probably still thinks about that to this day. And then you got 250 pound Tyreon Denson. He had some of the craziest handles at that size and that weight is insane. They called him Baby Escalade. So when you think of a seven foot, 360 pound man, you would not expect him to have range like this. But Connor Williams defies the odds. Max Avedra was known as Baby Pistol Pete, 
and he took over in 2021. When you see his hair, you're like, oh, this kid might not be able to hoop. But then you see his handles and his IQ, then you know what's up. Mac put the whole state of Idaho on the map. A few years before Mac, a kid that kind of resembled him named Colin Porter used to go viral for his matchups against Mikey Williams. Him and Mikey would go head to head at various camps like MSH TV and D Rich TV camp. And similar to Mac, he would often steal the show. Porter is now a freshman at Liberty where he started all 36 games. Now I love this story. Austin Trail was a senior and his teammate fouled out. He hadn't gotten a ton of clock at this time of the game. But you know what they say, you always got to have the next man up mentality. So his team was down 72 to 71. And then this happens. For some reason, no one guards him in the corner. Bang! They are in fact familiar with Austin Trail's game now. So Iran Bennett was six foot nine, 335 pounds, but yet somehow he was able to dunk everything. He was unstoppable in the paint. Another big fella was six foot 11, 320 pound Eddie Lampkin, but he was the opposite of Iran. He actually got shots up. You definitely don't expect him to shoot out there. Audie Crooks was the same way. People already know that she's gonna dominate you in the post and get all the boards, but she can shoot. I remember the first time I saw her hit a three, I was like, oh, she's going to be different. It was something about this event that she just let it fly. And Miles Graham took the internet by storm. He's six foot nine, 330 pounds, but he's described as a perimeter player. He just finished his freshman year where he averaged seven points per game on 42% from the three point line. And then you got Bill Walton's grandson, Connor Vanover. All right, he's not really Bill Walton's grandson. He just looks like him now. Cue the picture. The resemblance is uncanny. But anyway, at seven foot three, Connor Vanover plays more like Dirk Nowitzki than Boban Marjanovic. Now I've already shown a few people that get judged by their hair, but no one as much as Caleb Lohner. People were in our comments calling him surfer boy or no way he can hoop. But then you watch the clips and you're like, oh, he is going D1. And that's exactly what he did. He just finished his career at Baylor. Another guy is the man bun menace, Sean Hansen. He went to work at the MSH TV camp and they were not taking him serious until he hit him with a couple bop bops, buckets, then they had to respect him. I got me some braids and I got me some. Camden Thompson is a serious hooper and he pulled up in the cornrows so they had to start calling him White Iverson. And to end this video, I had to do a big guard section. First, we got Shaquarion Wise. These clips went viral on everything. He pulled up to our 2020 camp and had a couple clips and people called him Baby Kyrie. People could not believe how shifty he was. And then you had Ben Addis, AKA Baby Luca. This sixth grader was giving out buckets in Davenport, Iowa. What do you guys think? I think his looks look more like Doncic than his play style, but that's just what people commented. I absolutely had to end the video with Cadillac Kobe. Kobe is what you call basketball royalty. He's been on the sidelines of Mac Irvin Fire's team for as long as I can remember. And now it's his turn to show up. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.